Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 8th of May and this time I have some news for you regarding Nintendo as they have published their financial results for the fiscal year ending March 31st, 2015. Now they actually made a rather nice profit of over 41 billion yen and they rather handily beat their forecast by 11 billion yen. This follows a rather nasty loss last year of 23 billion yen. So yeah, that's quite a hefty jump as I'm sure you will agree. Hardware-wise, though, Nintendo sold 3.38 million Wii U units worldwide, giving it a 9.54 units sold in its lifetime. They're forecasting another 3.4 units in sales during the new fiscal year, which of course ends March of next year. As for the 3DS, it sold 8.73 units during the fiscal year, and that does include the 2DS and, of course, through both of the new models for the 3DS. Lifetime sales are now at 52.6 million units, and Nintendo is looking to sell 7.6 million during the next 12 months. Software-wise, though, Mario Kart 8, unsurprisingly, sold like hotcakes, or more exactly, 5.11 million since launch, making it the highest-selling Wii U first-party game. Super Smash Bros. U sold 3.65 million units, and for the 3DS, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire sold 9.94 million units combined, while Super Smash T t has totaled, excuse me, 6.7 million units sold, which is not exactly shabby. Now, during their original reports, Nintendo didn't actually touch on Amiibo sales figures. However, more information has actually been released since then. And according to Iwata, Nintendo shipped approximately 10.5 million Amiibo units worldwide. And despite this, stock shortages on some figurines have actually, well, led them to increased production. So obviously, stock shortages probably, you know, chokes them a little bit in terms of sales they're going to potentially make. Like if someone had a particular Amiibo in mind, they couldn't, you know, actually get it in their region or whatever. Obviously, they're just going to wait for it to come out. So they're increasing production as demand for Amiibos is not going anywhere. And he said to investors, quote, Our consumers have been inconvenienced by stock shortages on some of the figures in our Amiibo lineup. We have increased production for Amiibo figures that have sold out very quickly after launch that are indispensable to play a certain game and for which we have received strong demand from retailers and consumers. However, we are very sorry that we can't promise at what point we'll be likely to able to resolve the current situation because figures such as these require a considerable amount of time to produce, store shelf space is limited, and it is difficult to precisely predict the exact amount of overall demands. Now, they also provided a rather nice pie graph, which I'll be showing in the video right about now, which actually details region shipments of Amiibo and US and Canada have a 66% market share in sales compared to 20% in Europe, 11% in Japan and 3% in Australia. And as insanely well as Amiibo is actually doing, Nintendo is actually expecting more growth as the previously announced NFC Reader Writer, which will enable original 3DS owners to use Amiibo figures, will of course provide a rather nice boost. So basically, yeah. Amiibo has probably helped a lot, but it's not entirely down to them. The Wii U is finally selling well thanks to some strong releases, and of course we've got more planned for the future as well, of course with Zelda coming out, and it's finally looking worthwhile to buy a Wii U. In fact, to be honest, when we actually get a confirmation of the reveal of Zelda, I'm going to be buying a Wii U in time for that. And of course we're picking up a few titles along the way, such as say Bayonets 2, and probably Hyrule Warriors and Super Smash Bros. Well, why not? And assuming it ever comes out outside of Japan, which I don't know if it will, Pokken Tournament would be amazing as well. Hope you're listening, Nintendo. Doubt you are, but still. Anyway, that's me done for this video. I'll see you next time.